says he's just like, never again. Yeah. Never again. Oh, dude. I, I, he, I was has, so close to getting oh, top 8 you're, you're, you're only going to hear me say this once, man. He, has, he literally had Meister by the balls. Oh. He had Meister by the balls, bro. I'm telling you, dude. He had him by the balls, and he had him squealing all day long. But Meister got away, and I know Charlie wants revenge here. And he says, you know what? I'll take it out on SoCal, because I know I can get good playing my own region. I mean, SoCal is definitely a hotbed for top-level talent. Oh, yeah. So. We finally, you know, uh, last season, we only had Void, the solo SoCal, play on the PGR, and now having players like, you know, Nico, Nico Elegant, Elegant, Void, Louis Money for also representing the West Coast as a whole from NorCal. I don't look, look like West Coast finally finds their four players, at least in the PGR. I mean, Charlie is going to try to make a name for himself for this season. Oh, he's always been – I've been telling people, one day Larry will retire – that's one of the greatest of all times in SoCal. And who's going to fill in those shoes? It's going to be Charlie and Eon nonetheless, man. It takes two to fill out the shoes of Larry Lair. They're going to be at I mean, you say Charlie and Eon, but I feel like Charlie's going to try to make an intention be like, nah, nah, I can handle these shoes by myself. Oh, I feel I feel like just both of them, bro, coming out from high school Smash, listening to their story all the way back in Smash 4. It says a lot. Oh, good parry on the forward air here, man. You better parry that on God if you want to get a punish. Ooh, trying to get a punish on the roll, but you know, forward smash a little bit greedy. And you see Nico just flexing the the shield, you know, flickering it, just trying to hope for <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, a fair from ledge with Harry in and get the yeah. kill off of it. You get those plus frames, get the punish too. Oh, he's low, and Nico went low, and Charlie says, please, I, please, just let me get the punish up tilt. Even in Smash, he still survives, man. Ooh, but it's fair, gonna hit dip below ledge and hit Charlie on the recovery. This is really good for Nico. Game one with a lot of momentum, that's really big starter. But Charlie, I know that he's always been one of those camp players who practices more than one character. And seeing him go, you know what, Wolf isn't gonna make the cut here, it's gonna be Lucina. And Vladim has even given Nico some trouble before, too. Way back in Hollywood Action Tuesday, so it's not all the realms for Charlie, too. I mean, oh, tech chase? Okay, no, neutral, uh, get, get up attack. I feel like for the same reason we thought, like, you know, Cloud versus. It was a very even matchup. It like swung both ways. You know, what Lucina can do that Cloud can't is that she can go in low for the edge box. Oh, yeah. You know? Without having to have to worry about limit two. And Charlie ties up the stocks, man. What a lead Nico had. And Charlie says, you know what? It never matters. I don't, I don't care about your leads. I care about my leads. Right. Oh, oh okay, okay, man. We you, know, <laughs> you know what? Rather that direction than the first direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm special. Yep. Gonna break the aggression right there, but quick nair out of shield. Gonna catch him off guard, but not enough to really uh, land an aggression. Oh, this is but big damage here. Falling up airs into other up airs. It's not a kill here, but that gives Charlie momentum and damage. Starts to slowly set up for a corner carry and put him at the ledge. We all know Lucina's damage would be pretty ridiculous. Tech situation here gets the forward tilt. He's oh, gonna avoid the ledge all entirely. He switches to jump right. Oh, he wanted the back here, but Charlie interrupts the neutral air. And he saw, like, okay, I got hit immediately. Let's get out of Smash because I do not want to die to a straight bear bear. Yeah, I know Charlie loves to make calls here, and Nico's been making one too many rolls. I wouldn't put it past Charlie to finally read one here. You can see him just waiting for Nico to push the button. And now we have Smash, and we are at a 50 50, and the 50 50 is in Nico's favor. Yep, man. Good call on that one. On that one, Judge. Nico takes game one. Talked about how, how it's about building momentum here, and Nico builds a lot of momentum game one. Especially after reading Sparkle, my man is heated. I'd be taking off the sweater if I were him, dude. I'm not even wearing my jacket. <laughs> I'm not even wearing my jacket. I'd be running in with some heat. Once again, I apologize for my uh, nose breathing. I'm, I'm returning to normal conditions after being sick. I'm no longer sick, but hey, man, the uh, recovery process is. Oh, I was, I was like that from like Thursday to Monday. Oh, I feel that, dude. I feel that. It's like there's like a couple stages. Six, like first, like there's that like itch in the back of your throat. Oh, I and hate that. Yeah. I hate that. You, because you know what's coming the next day. Yeah, and then like towards the end, like all it is is like your nose is clogged, and like, yeah. whenever you're eating, it's like, do I want to eat or do I want to breathe? You know? Yeah, I just tell people every time I eat right now, when when you're coming off of sickness, you're just constantly rubbing your nose with a napkin. Man. I'm trying to make sure nobody gets germs right away. Charlie, no. Speaking of germs, man, there's germs on the floor of the stage, and Charlie wants to make sure Shulk's gonna, gonna kiss all of them. Forward air. Nice, this is Charlie's edge guard here. Can he make the right call? But Nico comes in with neutral edge, reverses the rolls here, almost gets the call out with the forward air, and Charlie spends the up special here, trying to recover and get Nico at the same time. I mean, he wanted to make the recovery, and he was forced at that point. 
I mean, you saw he went super low to avoid the fair. And, yeah. You know, you see his recovery is good. It's not that good. And you know, yeah. it was amazing on Nico to realize, like, okay, he's, he has to upbeat, and the only way it's going to kill me is if I don't catch it. Exactly. I feel like Charlie was already going to amount to that. I mean, Charlie is a born and bred fox main, and he knows you got to your techs have to be on point as a fox main, as a wolf main, and he's definitely on point as a Lucina main, even here. Call me. Oh, that was good for Charlie. Forward air, starting him out. Nico wanted to avoid that with the direct air dodge. Big problem. He should have aimed a little bit upwards to grab the ledge here, but nonetheless, Charlie cashes that in for a stock. And Charlie really needs to take these stocks because he is down one full stock right now. Oh, here. yeah, he is. Although I've talked about momentum here. Sometimes leads don't matter. It's the momentum here. Those uppers start to slowly think momentum in Charlie's favor. 69%, man. He puts Nico at the ledge. Forward smash call out. It's over. Nice. Stalls out for the, for the landing hit of Lutra Air. Now you gotta worry about the shield breaker, you know, mix up. You know, when your shield about like 60 to 70 percent full, you know, instead of landing a neutral air, you land with the the neutral B instead. Ooh, oh, he's gotta be careful. Nice into shield art. Oh, gets the parry attack. Tried reading oh. the roll, but he doesn't space it correctly. Fair, okay. Not enough knockback with Buster Art here, but doesn't have oh, forward air yep. to put him to rest. Nico with game two in hands. My man wants to make sure the 3 0 reset is as soon as possible. You can see that, like, Charlie, he wanted a double jump just to get back to center stage, but Nico was just not going to let him. Yeah. Also, if you guys are wondering here at WNF, at the time of this recording, we do have Grand Blue Fantasy versus. Uh, I know it's out in Japan and in Hong Kong. It won't come out to the States until March 3rd as of this recording here. So, uh, so definitely shout, shout out to Grand Blue getting into Evo. Oh, dude, big time. And it has a circuit, too. I am excited. It's honestly, one of those games I'm looking forward to as, as it goes on with more updates and more patches and more DLC. But hey, you know what's getting more DLC is Smash. And right now, we're talking Smash here. He approaches the Lucha and no grab after Buster Art. I feel like Grand Blue is going to be like the new, like, Joki Hero. You know what? I, yeah, yeah. I see it too. And I feel like the way that it's. Like, people have been complaining about how oh, it's only 11 characters. Like, man, I don't know. Street Fighter V had like 15. Yeah. And now we have like almost 50 characters in Street Fighter. So we know Ground Blue is going to last a hot minute for sure. But oh, yeah. Oh, most definitely Smash. I mean, there's, there's always room for growth. Yeah. yeah. Smash having 85 characters, the biggest roster over any game. There's a playable character. Is it the biggest roster over yeah. any game? Yeah. It already surpassed uh, Marvel's Capcom 2, which had one of the biggest rosters at that time. I mean, unless you want to talk about that, that uh, Mugen, then that's, that's, oh. <laughs> oh. that's, that's different. Here we go. Quick dash attack goes to the Oh, and parry. I love the parry, yeah. Yeah, I, I also respect the wolf chain for Charlie because one thing that Charlie accelerates here is punish game. Punish game with wolf, second to none, man. Second to none. I feel like what we're seeing a lot out of this wolf Whoa. is that he's able to... You know, really go through with his aggression. You know, he knows yeah. exactly what he wants. He can follow through really well. I feel like when we were seeing Lucina, like, he was playing neutral fine, but he wasn't getting, like, the heavy punishes that we would love to see as Charlie. Yeah. He has a damage output, but with Wolf, he has best of both worlds. Both damage, neutral, punish game. And Wolf is a character that snowballs, man. That damage it adds up to the knockback and which end the stock. I mean, the one thing that's like a disadvantage for Wolf is, you know, his recovery is very linear. Yeah, and, and that's what I think Charlie was afraid of, too, especially with against Shulk. I mean, these two have trained together, at, obviously, so Charlie knows. Quick back air. Wolf steal out that stock, but no, Wolf only needs a clean back air just to, you know, even things up. Or not even even things up, just extending the lead. Oh, that's big. <laughs> 28%. Nico knows I get Charlie at 50, put him at the ledge. I might as well put him in a coffin at that point, especially with my range. Good parry on Charlie. And I love that. You know, the forward tilt has just enough range to punish the parry. Mm -hmm. Even because that looked like max space fair too. Yeah. I thought Charlie was going to go for an anti hop into the down throw. Kind of mix up here against Nico. Gets. All right, smash right, switching into speed here. Ooh, oh, good call. Out, yeah. Yeah. He called out that double jump. He did. He did. He knows. One thing that Nico. I think that's what Charlie's kind of learned to come. Against Nico was each art. Nico has his own personal mode switch and how he approaches. And Charlie knew the right call when Nico was going to switch into speed art. There's a flow to a player here, and Charlie kind of understands Nico at that point. I mean, you can see that anytime Nico wants to approach, yeah, he's going to deal with an aerial, right? Well, flash. Oh, okay. Oh, he's in the upbeat, and ooh, that was an extra dirty percent right there. And uh, that's a back air, yeah. 
Oh, he tried betting it all, and he wanted to avoid the forward smash. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. He did. Yeah. No two frame for Charlie. Nice. A little bit of a jab action there to kind of get Nico on the shield. And questionable roll right there. Oh, it's even game, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, I love throw. Catches the get up. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Charlie Baron wanted to meet him up there with the upright too, and right. Nico gets the swing of the nair. I'll tell you guys, what even game here, but Charlie looking to bring him back closer with the back air. Nico still surviving by the skin of his teeth, man. I mean, he just needs a grab at this point. And there's, oh no. Oh, he didn't go for back throw. I'm you okay. know, he was at center stage. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he probably realized, like, okay, it's going to be like a 50 50 on whether or not this kill. I'm and just saying. I can't pummel fast enough because Nico's going to mash out of that. Yeah. So let's go for the guaranteed damage. And even that, right. all, almost 200% it wasn't enough. So we know that Nico's going to have the right BI to avoid that. Oh, if I were Charlie, man. Oh! No punish on the re grab. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> he got I, it. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry, man. Oh, my God. This is little. <laughs> Right, Nico shoot. just avoiding death every second. Oh my god. All right, well, he's going to have to have 18 seconds of that shield recharge. Back and air. That's not going to be it. Charlie right, will always hold great DI. Oh, I love that Nair. That Nair prevented from Nico from extending his aggression. I think I respect Nico from staying on the stage here because that's he was accounting for his bull flash. But Charlie gets the cross up, stays on the stage here, and then Nico with the chance on the dash attack here. Nico with the grand finals reset. 3 oh. Look, man, if I were holding the sticks, my butt cheeks would be clenched at that opportunity, man. That was oh. like, <laughs> that was even game. And Charlie almost had it. Like, he knew. I feel like that last back throw, if he had pummeled, like. Yeah, but you, like you said, right, center stage, doesn't want to risk it. He knows he, things can change, right? Might as well save it for the last second. And even then, Charlie was really good at the ledge here. Went for the down throw opportunity. Opens it up, and even with shield art, he's able to get a combo. You know, it's like, okay, I know Nico's going to go into shield, so let's not, let's change up my flow of how I'm going to attack it. Gets a double jump. No, no, he's got jump art. He's got jump art. Yeah. That was really good though from Charlie. He calls up the double jump. So Nico has to use jump art and then burn it. I mean, how ridiculous is that? That he immediately switches uh, jump art when his double jump gets taken and still has enough room to make it back. Ooh, try reading the, the jump out to the aggression. Gets a quick back air, and now he's off stage. Oh, not gonna get the punish on the uh, get up attack, unfortunately. Here we go. Just both players are scrapping it out, you know, and now he gets the edge guard. Doesn't find it, but gets it that time. And you know it. Charlie realized, yep, that's the end of the song. But comes back with a vengeance, gets a revenge kill. Now we are back to even percents. Yep. Give me one second, I'm just gonna go ahead and try to grab my water. Alright. Here we go. I love what Charlie's doing right there, because he knows that, okay, he's gonna go into shield art. So let me let me account for my combo for that and realize, okay, he's gonna do that. So let me try to catch the landing afterwards. And with that, I you know Charlie's kind of like taking the lead at lower percents, but all Nico needs is just one fair, one there to open it up the can of worms through the destruction. You know what? He's off stage. All he needs is a single fair just to, you know, perpetuate the cycle of you know, the edge guard. Yeah. Oh, that was a good read from Charlie. <laughs> I didn't even, even see Nico kind of adjust himself on the seat there. He's like, all right, hold on. Got to give my boy a little bit more credit. A couple swings, but a miss here. Man, that up special, that air slash, do they just. It advances short to the ledge so nicely. I mean, that's a, that's. A I mean, that has mad back hands. Yeah. You need to tell me Shulk is not a top tier in some way or another. Or he must be a He must be dreaming. I'm sorry. I mean, the one thing that makes Shulk separate from all the other top tiers is his high skill cap. It's really difficult. Like Nico went through the fire and the flames of making this character when this character was barely even a mid tier and back in Smash Four. This goes to show, man. It, it's it took a long time for this character into work. And definitely see how it comes on ultimate. Nice. It's not, the Smash Four Classic, man. Oh, yeah. Show your back at the ledge here. Gets the back air. And, you know, sometimes all you have to do is just full hop fair. Yeah. And, you know, and we saw it too against Spargo. He can definitely get a lot of reads from just going for that. Jump hard to escape it. Down to Buster Art. Okay, switching into speed. He's already burned two arts here. The cooldowns between the arts are usually between 16 and 18 seconds, depending on the arc. Almost with the up throw. 
Now both players are just trying to look up for that one opening. Gets them there, but unfortunately didn't believe it in, so he tried going for the up till afterwards. Once again, yeah. what a good tech chase from Charlie. Because he knows what he's going to be going for, too. He already, that's, that's the second call out, man. I feel like that's a very much like a, a high level player will always tech roll in because they, they're so used to, like, oh, if I tech roll out, they're going to chase me down and follow yeah. that. So At this point, you want to go for the low player, like. <laughs> the, the, the low player mix up. The, yeah. The, no mix, the, the, oh, I'm not going to tech. Yeah. Or, or, or I'm going to tech. The no place. mix up, mix up, basically. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, game one, Charlie King. Of course, Nico is here to bring it out. Okay, once again, man, I've already talked about it all night, but shout outs to this beautiful layout provided by WNF. Check out the bracket at smash.gg forward slash WNFOC every Wednesday. The neutral air floor tilt. Okay, down throw, Nico with the chase here, especially at the leg. He knows what the outtilt could definitely mean. Oh, barely avoiding that wolf flash. Yo, I think up. the one thing I'm enjoying here from Charlie's gameplay is he's also looking to wave punish Nico for his approaches with aerials because he knows we can get afterwards. I feel like that's one of Charlie's like best strengths is that he's able just to take one straight hit and extend it into a full combo. Oh yeah. And not many players have that level of skill too. It takes a while. <sighs> Good tech roll out. This time he tech rolled away too because he knows that forward smash was the one thing I should have been looking at. I mean, if you tech roll away, like, the worst is going to hit you with the dash attack. Yeah. And even then, if you put yourself back at the ledge, man, it might actually kill. Oh, Jump. looking for the... Oh, yeah, he called it out. Oh, and I, I love how he drifted back, and because of jump, he had enough aerial mobility to get that there. Mm -hmm. Oh, shield art. Of course, if you guys don't know, shield art is very much like our saying in the sense where if you do damage to the shield art, the meter will run out faster. So feel free to grab and get a few pummels in. It's got one of the longest with recharge times, 18 seconds. Here we go. There's the dash attack. Try reading the tech roll in, but you know we said that earlier. You no, know, sometimes the option is to not tech at all. And we saw Nico did just that. Didn't tech it and kind of just waited for Charlie to press the button, and then he picked his option. Mm -hmm. Neutral air gets the up tilt. Dash attack into jump hard. Nico looking to shuffle through. Gets the parry here. You see both players going for their aerials, trying to open up the other's defenses. Yeah. 101. Oh, I was going to say that's really scary. I feel like he just burned through jump bar and then immediately went for up special. You know I feel like he was trying to go for the dare, but you know, it's one of those things where like, do you go for the safe nair and try to hope that it kills him, or do you go for the hard read dare spike? No up air. Dash attack, and unfortunately that wasn't enough. Charlie did not open up the shields here. Nico adjusting the seat, 83%. Charlie looking to put himself at set point with this victory, possibly into shield dart. Charlie's got two stocks, 92%. He's ferrying this man away. Back throw. Okay, he's got him off the, st off the stage here. Where's the forward air? Doesn't get it right. I love that slight drift back to avoid the pair. You know? It's one of those things where when you're going up against Shulk, you always have to mix up which way you're going. Because all he needs is one read on where you're going, and then he gets the kill, just like that. 22%. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, look, I'm a broken record. It's a reset. We already know. Stocks don't matter. It's all about the momentum that each player brings up on each other. And we know that even if there's two stocks or three stocks, you can bring it back and still control it just as well. Both of these players are very, very well known for their follow-ups. Here we go. There's a fair and doing the nair, catching the roll. Oh, and use that double I, jump. Mm -hmm. I love the use of nair to catch both roll and normal, normal tech. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, if they're away, there's not enough end lag on it to where you get super punished. That was good to go into shield so you can get out of the hit stun from the jab and then try to punish Charlie immediately. Watch out with the tech here. I was gonna say that was really cautious. Charlie threw out the down smash for a reason. Charlie, right before he snaps the ledge. That there. sword is just so big. It's the sword of the gods, man. I mean, I don't want I don't want to spoil any of the the game for you guys, but one of the definitive edition of Xenoblade Chronicles, you guys can see for yourself why that sword is so powerful. All right, here we go to game. Oh, that's game three. Game three. Wow. Yeah. You know, this game three, super crucial for the very very big point if it puts you at set point. And it puts a lot of pressure on the player who did not win game three. A lot. It puts you at, puts you at set point, and it puts you at a potential counter 
Yeah, but I don't think either player is going to go to any other stage other than Stadium. Mm -hmm. It's almost that, like, pride thing where, you know what, it's like you don't want to gimmick out your opponent by, like, choosing, like, a cool, cool, better stage. You know, you want to be like, I want to beat you because I know I outplayed you. Yeah. Especially if the stage is good for both characters, too. That's kind of what you want. I kind of like how Nuka kind of brings it back that forward. It's slightly early. I feel like he's doing it to really, really counter Charlie, but also be aware of the fact that if he doesn't get it right, that Wolf Flash will take care of his opportunity that he once had. Neutral air, nice. This time Nico using that jump to kind of get over Charlie. He knows. Ledge here, I have to watch out. Oh, okay. Almost, if he had gone that second fair, I'm, that might have been it for. Oh, Charlie gets in there. Oh, he's been so good on catching the tech chases here, but he finally gets the back and catching Nico swinging. It's kind of, even if Charlie doesn't get those tech chases, it's a really good check on him on, on Charlie's part. Because if Nico doesn't tech at all, that's a fat punish. It's not even a stock loss at that point. Gets the parry. Charlie's getting used to those timings of those aerials. He knows. Parry on, you got to parry on point and then punish afterwards. I feel like that's the way you have to deal with Shulk. Like, you can't just shield his uh, aerials because they're pretty much safe on that crane. So yeah. you have to parry it. Exactly. And if you can't get the punish, walk away and then look to see what you can get on, on Shulk on the landing. Here we go. And all this aggression. Uh, the the direction. Air dodge. I didn't like the air dodge. I didn't like that air dodge. I didn't. I respect it, though. Like, he didn't want to get hit by Bear. didn't want to get hit by Forward Smash. But I was really scared when he went for air dodge at that moment. That forward I time. also would have liked to see air dodge, like, down instead of the air dodge in so that he would avoid oh, it. Oh, yeah. Or maybe neutral air dodge. But I, you know what? I'm not in Charlie's mind. He only right. he knows his own thoughts. I mean, it's one of those, like, in hindsight, you know, you can only yeah. say so much. No parry. I, sometimes I see Charlie. Oh, that was good. That was good. That was I good. love that. Just staying at roll distance away. Mm -hmm. And then once you said, okay, you rolled, you're going to die now. Yeah. Throws out a little bit of a threat with the back air, kind of letting Nico know, like, okay, I might throw more back air as Nico finally was safe to move in. I feel like that's the conditioning that we saw earlier, where, like, you don't want to jump in the corner, because if you jump in the corner, then you get hit by back air. And you don't want to just stay in the corner either, because that's just a bad place. So the instinct is like, I want to get out of here. Let me roll out of here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. A little bit of a shield stand now. Charlie making the attempt for a grab. I like it though, because it would have definitely led to a down throw for a combo to dash back in the corner carry. Ooh, and there he catches the jump from ledge and doesn't get too framed by the forward smash that time. And Look, if this, is, if this isn't going to go Charlie's way, I can see a Lucina switch possibly. He wasn't too far behind, but I also respect him being wolf still. It's just he's been getting caught to the ledge. Oh, good parry. And he, I like the fact that Charlie moves a little bit behind here. He either was going to go for, I feel like he might have gone for back air, or just looking to get behind Nico and then try to find a punish afterwards. Oh, he gets grab on the normal get up. And I like that, but he did it. Oh, just get at a high percent, too. And Nico kind of knew he was going to hold it. Yeah. And you can see Charlie <laughs> is not happy about that. He's not. That. He's not. That was like the last, like the very first frame of non invulnerability that yeah. he had. The higher percent you are, ladies and gentlemen, the faster you lose invincibility. I don't know at what percent it does start, though. But like you said, right, the second that invincibility right now, Nico just swung. All right, well, Maybe. game four, we talked about how game three is so important here. Charlie on the back foot. I know when Charlie's upset, he doesn't he he doesn't change. He doesn't get frustrated and get uh, get tunnel visual. He's one of the few players that he kind of just turns things up to eleven. And he's like, okay, I have to punish harder now. Talking about uh, punishing harder, and I feel like Nico's just like, okay, I see what you're trying to do, so I need to dial it up just as much. As yeah, exactly. Are. He's got Nico at 70. He's got Nico at 70. He's the one who, who struck first blood at the beginning of the game. Dash attack. He's got him at the corner. He gets the neutral. He stops him right before he can go for an aerial. You can just see Nico just keeping Charlie mm. at the ledge. That's a change up here. That's a change up. I haven't seen Charlie go for that couple for a couple games. He's been going for Wolf Flash a lot. This time he went a little bit low to try to avoid forward air because he knows. Oh, he got the perfect space to get him forward tilt. Oh, gets another forward tilt, throws him off. Gets the cross up too. Oh, but wasn't expecting. And that up B has such good range on it. Oh, yeah. Most of <laughs> I love that. He scoped out the, the grab, but. You know, Nico. Okay, yeah. This is the, that's the one time Charlie commits the wolf flash because he wanted to go off the deep end for that one to avoid Nico. Oh, but another up beat. And now here's the death percent. And oh, he read the wall, <laughs> but there, not going to be quite enough, but gets the edge guard. Yeah, yes. he does. That was good from Charlie's part. He went for upright to shift his hurtbox from being from the blast on two. Oh, shield R2. 
and Charlie had the right punish and he knew the spacing where he can get the core kill. You have to admire Charlie's knowledge of when he can parry and attack Nico afterwards because he knows, okay, I can forward kill or I can't forward kill here. He reads the area, goes for an, uh, goes for an up that takes care of the stock. You may see Charlie on a little bit of the back foot here, but that doesn't mean he's not demonstrating what he's doing properly. Oh. Yeah, I like it. Changes it up, he knows, okay. I already went for Wolf Flash once. I cannot make the same mistake twice. He's got to mix up that timing so he doesn't get hit by forward smash. Nice. The tech comes in, dash tech. He's putting Nico to the corner here. Nico has to go for the up special. Good Ooh. parry. Uh, once again, I mentioned he knows the range. Good empty half from Nico. He gets the back. Throw. Almost gets the down. So that would have been so clean. We would have gone for forward Charlie. afterwards. He's opening up Nico. He's like, okay, I finally found his groove. Now all I need to do is just not get edge guarded. Again, just stuffing out all of his reps and off. Yeah, right there. that was good. He threw out blaster so he can force Nico to go for a little recovery. Call him out. Nico only went for the first part of up special, and that forward tools took care of it. Right. And he spaced him out just right so he didn't get hit by the mm -hmm. initial hit of the up beat, too. Good parry. Nice. He knows the range here. You he mentioned knows. earlier, he's, he, he sees where he needs to crack Nico, and he's opened him up enough. He's seeing all the parry opportunities right here, and mm -hmm. he knows like, okay, if he's not going to throw out an opportunity right here, if he's not going to throw out uh, an aerial, he's going to tunnel mm -hmm. And so you see him just immediately like retreating cool. away. Nice. I like that. Oh, <laughs> so, that was. I'm sorry, that was a lot chase. of commitment, man. That was a lot of commitment. Dude. That was uh, Michael Myers chasing <laughs> this knife right there. He's like, I'm going to get you. It's like Nico signed a four-year release on his cell phone bill or something. That was a lot of commitment. He gets the up special here, and that's going to stop Nico. Charlie pushing game five. I talked about how when he gets upset, he does not get flustered. He does not get tunnel vision. He, it's like he adjusts his mind to be of, okay, I'm not punishing things. Fine. I'm going to make sure I punish them. And now, here we go. To game five. This is the last game of the night, folks. Oh my god. And it has been a wild ride for both players right here. Oh dude, most definitely. This has been a wild ride for WNF, man. No T3 Dom, usually he's winning these WNFs. I mean, do you see how stacked this is? Oh yeah. We had Fargo, we had Nitro, we had Paper. Yo man, shout out shouts shout to you beating on Nitro. Oh, <laughs> I did oh, not want to see that. No. I did not. Uh, that breaks my heart. I want to see these two last time last hit, but that breaks my heart. But not Charlie's gonna say, you know what, man? I, I know. I know it's close to Valentine's Day. I'll make sure you get a Valentine's, and I'll bring things back to 98%. He's got Nico still at a high percent. I mentioned how the stocks don't matter, man. It's the momentum. You were talking about momentum, and you know what? It seems like Nico has all of it right at the moment. And that oh. was good. That was good. That was still a good attempt here. He thought Nico was gonna falter and try to pop out a shield. Oh, but yet again, just sliding right below him, be like, okay, you have to pick an option. I'm right beneath you. You're gonna. Yo, excuse me, did I shield poke? I feel like I did, honestly. That was good. It was for a couple of empty hops here, trying to check up Nico. 155. Ooh, yeah, but quick up tilt after the tomahawk. Tomahawk up tilt, basically. It's not out of the car, so Charlie will pull it back here. Nico gets the dash back forward here. I mean, I feel like Charlie needs to pull a rabbit out of his hat if he wants to take this game. Oh, yeah. At this point, we might as well call it a choke out of the hat. Mm. All right, a couple empty hops from Nico. Kind of like it. Neutral air. He's backing off. I feel like that's what Nico's slowly understanding between him himself and Charlie. He's like, okay, I got to back off. Even if I do have max range of opportunities, Charlie has oh, been the double jump. Mm. Like, goes for the high recovery right there. Yeah. Nico knows he has to burn the high recovery because he already ate my double jump. He ruled back, too. The way that Charlie had forward to Nico knew I had to reel back because if not, that forward was going to hit me. Oh, Nico doesn't want to lose the stock lead. Nico's trying to end everything right now. All he needs is an up tilt. Uh, this is also Charlie's opportunity here. If Nico misses something and Charlie gets the right point. <gasps> oh, but no tech! No tech. Yeah. And just like that, Charlie has brought himself back into the game. But you know what? One fair, all is. The one fair to rule yeah. them all here yeah. at WNF. Oh, God. And there's the up air, but no, he gets the fair. I thought he was going to go for up there, too. Oh, my God. Nico is just trying to end it all, but Charlie is starting to make a comeback. I am oh. staying quiet for this one, man. Yeah. I, don't I mean, you know, Nico's just looking for that one fair, that one up tilt. And Charlie's just doing everything he can to stay alive. But the what, a change up. Yep. what a change up. 
what a change of that last second adjustment too. I feel like at that point, <laughs> yeah, shouts to both of them though. They they, they kind of like laugh I it mean, off with each other. Like you know, what? at the end of the day, man, we good friends. I mean, that was super close. Like even with that super early stock, yeah. like that first stock, Charlie managed to bring it back, and I, I could totally see him. No. Yeah. Getting, getting the combos, getting the percentage to get him off stage, and all he needed is like a fair to side B to yeah. hit it off. Or and I did mention earlier too, Charlie and Nico actually been training alongside each other, mm -hmm. so they're they're very much the two finest players in SoCal. Charlie has become a fine young gentleman here in terms of a player caliber. Nico finally taking that first place throne that he's right. been looking for for such a long time, and honestly, it's a matter of iron sharpens iron. Larry. Still in the midst of the two of them. Zenyu at MSM, he still shows 